You've heard the wild claim that our universe might not be alone, that countless others could exist beside it, or even branch away from it. So here's the real question. Why serious physicists think this could be possible? And what evidence actually points toward it? Stay with me, because we're about to explore five powerful clues that scientists use to argue for this multiverse idea. And by the end, you'll see exactly why it refuses to die. If you want to understand why some scientists even consider the multiverse, you have to start here with the most uncomfortable question in cosmology. Why does our universe allow life at all? Because when you zoom in on the numbers that define reality, the strength of gravity, the mass of the electron, the speed of light, the density of dark energy, you discover something deeply strange. These values are balanced on a knife edge. Change gravity by a tiny fraction, and stars never ignite. Increase dark energy slightly, and galaxies never form. Adjust the strong nuclear force by the smallest amount, and atoms fall apart before they exist. It's as if the universe solved a near impossible equation, one where almost every solution leads to a cold, silent, lifeless cosmos, except this one. So physicists ask, did we win a cosmic lottery? Or are we just one ticket in an infinite draw? If there are countless universes, each with different laws, then eventually one would accidentally allow life as we know it. Not because it was chosen, not because it was special, but because with enough attempts, something like us becomes inevitable. Fine-tuning does not prove the multiverse, but without the multiverse, fine-tuning becomes a profound mystery. And that's only the first clue, because if you leave the cosmic scale and zoom into the earliest moments after creation, the picture becomes even more intriguing. The cosmic microwave background, the Big Bang's 13.8 billion year old imprint, isn't random noise. It is almost exactly what inflation theory predicts. Tiny quantum ripples stretched across billions of light years, forming a precise temperature pattern. If inflation had unfolded even slightly differently, galaxies, stars, and planets might never have formed. Some physicists call this the inflation ocean because it suggests the early universe wasn't just expanding, it was floating on a vast sea of possibilities. And here's the controversial hint. Some speculative models propose that anomalies in the CMB, including the cold spot, might be interpreted as faint imprints of other universes brushing against ours. Not confirmed. Whether highly debated or not, it's not dismissed. Follow the trail long enough, and the idea of a single, isolated universe becomes harder to defend. If fine-tuning and inflation feel strange, the quantum world makes everything stranger. At the smallest scales, particles do not exist in one state or one position. They exist in many states at once. They do not choose one path. They explore every possible path. And when you observe them, something appears to collapse. Yet in the mathematics, nothing collapses. The wave function keeps evolving, as though every possibility continues to exist. That leads to a radical interpretation. Perhaps the universe never chooses. Perhaps it splits. One branch where the photon passes one slit, another where it passes the other. In this many worlds interpretation, the universe doesn't simply evolve, it multiplies. Experiments involving molecular interferometry and superconducting quantum systems behave exactly as branching would allow. Millions of parallel outcomes, layered inside a single reality. This is the quantum shadow, the suggestion that behind every lived moment, countless unlived versions unfold beside it. What paths are you not taking right now? Before we dive further into the next clue, if thoughts like these awaken that rare curiosity inside you, stay with this journey. For some, this is just information, but for others, it becomes a doorway. Now zoom out, far beyond every map we have ever drawn, to the fading edge of what any human will ever see, past the final galaxies, past the last detectable photons. There lies a boundary not of existence, but of access. 
our telescopes cannot see beyond it. Not because the cosmos ends there, but because light has simply never had enough time to arrive. And here is the eerie truth. The universe is expanding so rapidly that vast regions are being pulled away faster than light can ever catch them. Sealed behind a horizon we can never cross, never measure, never hear from again. Not destroyed, not altered, just lost to us forever. Like rooms in our own home whose doors have silently locked from the other side. This does not mean other universes lie beyond that boundary, only that most of our own universe will remain permanently unreachable. A cosmos so vast that even within a single universe, most of it becomes unknowable. But if one universe alone can stretch itself into functional infinity, forever hidden from its own inhabitants, then what happens when we explore theories that don't just stretch one universe, but propose many? And if endless reality is on the table, what if infinity isn't the limit at all? If quantum mechanics suggests branching, and inflation suggests endless generation, String theory takes it to its most extreme implication. When physicists tried to unify the forces of nature, they found that reality might be built from vibrating strings, not particles. And these strings require hidden, compact, extra dimensions. When you modify those hidden dimensions, you don't just change shape, you change the laws of physics. The result is not one universe, but a theoretical landscape of perhaps 10 to the power of 500 possible universes. Imagine a number so large it is written as 10 followed by 500 zeros, a number that dwarfs every star, every atom, every galaxy, and each configuration becomes a possible universe. Right now, there could be you in another universe watching this same video, possibly wondering if the multiverse exists completely unaware of the you who is here watching this one. Reality in this model isn't a single creation. It is a vast archipelago of universes. This is the string landscape where universes aren't rare, they are inevitable. And when you gather all five clues together, they begin to form a silhouette of something larger. Not proof, not yet, but a shape that refuses to disappear. A pattern whispered by the constants of nature, etched into the oldest light in the universe, hidden in the mathematics of quantum theory, and echoed across a landscape of unimaginable possibilities. It tells us that the universe may not be a lonely miracle, but one chapter of a far broader cosmic library, not a universe, but a multiverse, not a single story, but many. And if that is true, then our entire understanding of existence is still in its opening pages. Maybe the question was never, is there a multiverse? Maybe the real question is, why did we ever assume there was only one? If this journey through the cosmos has sparked wonder in you, don't let it fade. Follow these paths with me as we keep unfolding the mysteries that connect every atom and every mind.